Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. Just bring you guys a quick post fight thoughts video of the Alan Babic versus David Spillman fight. Uh, they recently fought over in the UK in the undercard of the rematch between uh, Derek Chisora and Joseph Parker. The event is currently going on right now on the zone as we speak at the time I'm making this video. And uh, yeah, actually, I, I woke up uh, and I turned on the TV and started watching on the zone, and this fight was over. Uh, they were showing highlights of it, and I was like, oh shit, it looks like it was a fun fight because David Allen Babic was hurt by David. David was able to land some really good clean shots on him in the early rounds. Uh, I think round two, he was able to hurt Babic, and uh, Babic nearly went down. And uh, Babic got saved by the bell because it was towards the end of the second. If that round, if that second round had maybe one more minute or 30 more seconds, David Spillman probably could have <laughs> beaten Alan Babic and uh, it, it would have been a big, huge upset. Uh, but uh, as the fight went on, Babic kept doing his thing, start. You know, kept battering him round after round, was able to drop him in the fourth and drop him again in the sixth before the uh, the KO win. So, uh, so yeah, it, you know, Spillman had his moment. He had an opportunity, but, you know, it, it happened towards the end of the round. So, anyway, with this win, Alan Babic improves to 10-0. and 10 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. And, um, man, so many ads. Stop it, ads. Anyway... Coming off a win against Eric Molina and fighting David Spillman, it was a stab down in my opinion. And, um, you know, he has, to, he has to work on defense and he needs to work on setting up his punches more instead of just wailing at his opponent. Because that gives a lot of opportunities for his opponent to counter him. And that's what happened in the second round. He got countered with a very good clean shot. And, uh, you know, if Babic fights a, a more intelligent boxer or one of the top 15 boxers, uh, Babic's gonna get knocked out, but no, no rush in in uh, you know promoting Alan Babic. No rushing him, in my opinion. I think you know put put people that we know he's gonna beat in front of him for the next next year or so, and then after that you know step up against a uh, a decent name. His opponent David Spillman had seven losses going into this fight, and now he has eight. Uh, he's ranked number one hundred thirty out of one thousand. 700 1177 boxes on box rack um but yeah he uh yeah he i, I give him effort you know I, I give him an a for effort for for actually going out there and trying to win because he really looked like he tried to win man he it, it looked like he did not show up for just a paycheck he actually wanted to win this fight so i gotta give him props for that but in the end Man, it was a little too late. He nearly pulled it off, man. And, you know, you got to love seeing a, a, a big upset. But, you know, <laughs> I, I like Alan Babic too. I mean, he's a pretty entertaining fighter. But, man, he, he has a lot of things to work on. Anyway, I'm sure we'll see Babic back ASAP. I'm sure we'll see him again in the next couple months or so in, in a matchroom event over in the, the UK. And, uh, and, yeah, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Again, events currently going on right now in the zone. Tune into the zone if you want to see. Uh, you can actually replay also this fight. You can. That's what I did. You know, like I said, I, I woke up late, and um, the fight was already over when I woke up. So I, I was watching this fight while the uh, uh, the Ron Richards fight was going on. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.